Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. Welcome back to Shamrock Valley. It is Sunday the 12th of June. We are walking over to the store to go with our Fords and Major Diesel. As we need a tractor in the yard on the milk tank, we bought this Power Major. Hopefully it will do the job we want to do, which today is going to be carting the bales. Bit of a check. There we go. So we will go and put it onto our bale trailer. Head down here to the sheep field. Before we do that, we need to give the cows a drink. Being June the 12th, they are outdoors and eating the grass which is now fully grown. So we will put this on to the bale trailer. We did an old straw bale there and there's the so we will just leave that ticking over there pop in and give the cows a drink and you see the other tractors over there needs to be kept on the milk tanker to be fair so this one will just travel two miles per hour faster than the major diesel so being a suit power major it's got a bit more speed behind it and also we need to check how many a bales we've got because do we need to bring any here straw bale no we've got enough a bales there for another winter so all of these bales can go and be sold. We'll have to just pop and give the sheep a drink on the way down to the grass field. As you can see, that extra speed is pretty helpful to us. Only two miles per hour. But every that's seven miles, you're gaining a mile on the other one, or gaining two miles on the other one, whichever it is. Not really sat down and done the maths on that. And just give the sheep a bit of a tidy up. We have now got almost two pallets of wool there, plus what we've got at home, so should soon be able to load the wool up and take it over to the spinnery, where it will be made into your luxury wool suits, your carpets. Scarves and apps, whatever you need. I've got another straw bale here by the looks of it. But we will close the gate, keep the sheep out of here. And get loading the trailer. Right, 
Not sure how well this trailer is going to work for us. Hopefully it'll be fine. Has got the tank. You have to pass the tension belts each time you move, otherwise the bales fall out of the trailer. So we shall get the bales close to us. Throw them on. them so they don't move on the move forward. It will come along this edge. As you can see the ride well wants to stack strut, it's just if you don't strap them they fly all over and even slide out the front of the trailer so Crow's making a noise early in the morning. Fall out the side. It's not an ideal trailer, but uh, it will do us. For now, it will do us. At least get it up from around this side as well. Not sure it's going to carry any more than the previous trailer did, which was the main reason for getting it. Filling up nicely, so we will continue along this path. Get the trailer loaded up and then head over to the bale sole coin. It's not perfect this, we may swap it out for another one going forward. I know where there's a two wheel trailer. Ideal. Is uh, possibly our best bet going forward from here. We missed a bale there. I don't know why we missed that bale. Trailer. A couple more bales here to collect before we move.
we can get this load over to the salt point before we leave you. We can now get these bales out of this row sorted. decent load of bales on it so I suppose once you get used to stacking on this trailer it will be fine for us. Just getting used to the job with a new trailer at the moment. getting used to the right levels to work the struts. Yeah, it's not the best trailer ever but hopefully we can manage with it. Shame you can't work the straps from the. Well, there we could. Kind of cheap work the straps by sorting them out from on board the tractor for now until we can get ourselves. Something else. They are almost full now. A good load of bales on here. We'll get one or two more on, I think. Possibly trying to get more on the his need to in a minute. this trip I think. Yeah, we shall try and get one or two more on I think because we're a little bit low on one side. Oh, 
probably trying to be a bit too greedy with what we're carrying, but... to go. Here we go with our brand new power major off to the soul point. Got our little old army trailer on the back. Which you know, doesn't really seem to be ideal for this job. Probably better off getting one like we had before. Yeah, we got a call from the Forbes and Dealer to say that Forbes had updated their tractor from a Forbes and Major Diesel and called it a Power Major. Be nice if the Super Major comes out as well for this series. But yeah, so we, as we spoke about in the last episode, we needed another tractor because the older of the Majors is spending its time in the yard on the milk tanker and things like that so we needed something to replace it and the truck that we chose to replace it was this power major uh, yeah power major the only difference between this and the one that we had is the two miles per hour I don't think there's any difference in horsepower, doesn't tell you on there, does it? No. All right, we will have a look and see. So the Fordson Major Diesel is 38 horsepower. Yeah, it's got eight more horsepower as well to what it had before. So. It's got more power and two miles per hour more as well. So, yeah, I'm sure this is going to be a good tractor on the farm for the near future at least. Seems to manage the trailer load of bales pretty well, so we'll see what it's like doing other jobs going forward so it's got a ring to the Fortune Major to its engine sound won't be too long now before we need to get the combine harvester out as well so we shall see how it goes Last year we used the loader truck with the cart grain. But for this year we now we've got a major that's a little bit faster. We may use the 
whole T20 and this as well. Is still brand new and no idea if it could have done with something a bit harder to do from new to break it in but we haven't got anything any more strenuous than this to give it at the moment we are almost now at the bail saw point. And there we are, just two thousand. 233 pounds from that. We shall head back to the field and continue carting the bales. You will soon be leaving us now and joining us tomorrow in game. She'll be on a Monday, if she's good. Some of the other farmers' crops are doing better than what ours are at the moment. Hope that's not an omen for the future that we're not going to have a good yield on our crop. They are all in, although that field up ahead looks like it's getting a nice golden colour, so yeah, we probably are. Well, yeah, it's probably not our field. Yeah, it is our field, I think. Steam train there going over the tunnel. Yeah, it's not our field, what's showing golden yellow. Flying Scotsman steaming away with its passengers heading towards the tunnel. And into the tunnel it goes. Yeah. First time I've actually seen the train go into the tunnel. A lot of our crops are a long way behind other farmers' crops for sure. Unless they're winter crops that we've seen going up, well, it's not a lot better than the other one, but. Be fine but as we work our way up the hill. We will leave you there for today. So, thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment if you're new to Summer Farm Estates and you'd like to see more of the work we do here. Please subscribe to the channel ring that bell it will tell you when we do our farming simulator when we do our i racing until you join us tomorrow on shamrock valley thank you again for watching have a great evening and goodbye for now